something a bit different than I eat than, than like than my usual things that I make. I'm going to be attempting to make a jet engine. You heard that right? I'm going to try to make a jet engine. If you are actually watching this video, then that means that it actually worked and I actually uploaded it. So let's just get on with the build and see how it goes. All right, so what you're gonna need is a old or just super cheap uh, hair, like hair dryer. So that's gonna make the like make the thrust most of the thrust, a like some metal pipe stuff, a a really thin copper pipe, and I think that that's pretty much all that you're gonna need right now. But yeah, let's just see what else we're gonna need. All right, so I was originally going to use this like this old RC uh, RC helicopter I had, but it didn't really produce enough like enough thrust with the uh, with the modded motor. So I'm just gonna use the hair dryer. All right, so I think this is going to be a lot, a, like a lot more powerful than this dinky little, like like this helicopter motor, and it was only ten bucks, and it works. Super good. And I also got this here. This will be the main, like, like the main body of the jet, and it's just made out of a little reducer thing. A like metal pipe thing. I don't even know what they're called. I'll put in the link. And it looks exactly like a jet engine. All right, so here are the blueprints that I made at school. I have a lot of, like I have a lot of free time. So it's pretty much just gonna be the pipes uh, and then then that, then the hair dryer is gonna be there. The flame tube is gonna be running down front from a little propane tank down and into it. There's gonna be a spark plug or a, or maybe just like a little like a little lighter because those are super expensive. It's gonna be going into it. I'm gonna light it, pull it out. Then all the thrust is gonna be pushed out the back and funneled through this hole because then this is all gonna be relatively high pressure and then it's gonna get funneled down even more. So it's gonna be super high and then it's gonna be able to release here. And I think that that's what causes the thrust. So I'm just gonna to have to modify the like like the hair dryer so I can put it right there. Suck all the air in, push the flames that that uh, that way, pressurize it, bang, jet engine. All right, the first thing I'm I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take apart this. I've already got the back piece off, and it looks like this thing, the thing that like makes it go up and up and down in force, is that little box right there, and that thing actually comes comes out. So that's the switch right there. So I'm gonna need to unscrew those. I'm gonna need, and I'm gonna need to try to get the EDF out electric duct fan out of there whoa well it <laughs> it just came out and yeah that's the uh, basics of the motor <laughs> that was unexpected and yeah all right first test see if the motor works without the thing on it yeah it does Try, I don't know if that's high or if that's low. Let's see. Oh, whoa, it's got some thrust. It's super hard to stop because for some reason they put the stop button in the middle. So yeah, so this works perfectly. Now let's try to modify it even more if we can to try to get this front thing off because this is pretty much just all like heat. This just wants to heat up the air. And we don't really need that in there, so let's, yeah, I'm gonna try to get that off. All right, this is future me, about maybe two hours into the into the future, and it did not work. I tried to take the heating thing off, and it ended up destroying the motor because now the like the relay wasn't complete, circuit wasn't complete, didn't work. So I tried to cut it, attach wires, blah blah. blah ended up frying the motor, so that did not work. So now I'm gonna go and try to get a new one and try to maybe be a bit more smarter with it, as you could say, because that was not really smart. And yeah, just try to make it work. All right, so when I wait for a time that I can go and get a new hair dryer thing, I'm gonna start to work on making the flame, uh, like the flame tube part. All 
All right, so the flame tube looks super good and I think it's gonna work pretty good too. So now I'm just gonna leave off on me talking because I'm gonna have like a big long montage of me, of like me doing the rest of uh, like the rest of the project because I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm ending up like saying stuff then having to go through the video and delete what I'm saying because it's not right. So, so I'm just gonna leave the video off here and I'm, and I'm just gonna do the montage. So let's just see how it, uh, how it goes. All right, I'm gonna wear these gloves because it might get a little bit toasty. This metal conducts heat very, very badly. So it gets super hot with just a little bit of heat. So, man, I'm scared. Let's pull this out. Let's look down there to see if it's close enough, yep. Okay, it's on. Turn on this. Oh my gosh, it's actually working. Oh my gosh. All right, let's do it. Stop it. Yes! That works so good. Oh my goodness. Whoa. All right, that worked great. I'm going to see it. I'm going to... I'm gonna try to test it again to see if that was a fluke. And it looks like I have a bit more fuel left. So let's put, let's assemble it. But we don't need that on, that's the top. There we go. Get our, let's get our gloves on. So yeah, that, the engine gets super, super hot. And like crazy hot. I don't know how it gets so hot so quick. So I'm only gonna go for maybe about five or six seconds each. Move that. Put 
the lighter in. Can you get a closer view up on this side? Thanks. All right, is it close? Yeah, it has to be close to the flame tube or else, the, or else it's not gonna reach. Okay, there you go. Yeah, click, okay. guys that is probably one of the coolest things i've made and i bet that you can all agree with that i'm gonna leave the video off here and in and like in my next video i'm gonna i am gonna like test it out more see how much just see how much thrust it can make it'll just be a shorter maybe minute minute and a half video go check that out after this see you guys later